Hey everyone, welcome back to another Godzilla Battling video, and today I'm taking a look at G21's leader ability. Finally, 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 it is time that G21 has become a leader. This has probably been the most, I would say, the most requested change to any character that I've seen, except for like Nerf Batra or like Nerf Leo, right? Everyone and their mothers has been asking for G21 to be the leader. I was fine with him not being a leader. I didn't mind it. A lot of people wanted him to do like a Hollow Earth attack. I get it, fine. That's not what we got. Uh, but at least I think people are happy that he's a leader. Now, how is he as a leader? Keep in mind, these are my early, you know, my early reviews of the characters, of the units and whatnot. I, I do these, like, you know, right when the season starts, right when a character comes out or a change to a character comes out. So these might not reflect my final thoughts a month from now, two months from now. But as it stands, for the few days that this season has been available, and for the amount that I've played now with G21, I, I I think I think he's fine. I don't really think he's going to make or break the meta at all. I think if you want to use him, you can use him effectively. But I, I really don't think he's going to make that big of an impact on the meta. That being said, let's break it down why I think this. All right. So let's take a look at his leader ability for starters. Heat Ray, energy cost four, cooldown 120 second. As we've discussed in the leader tier list video energy cost being four with a cooldown of 120 seconds is not generally a good trade-off that's not really something that you want to see if it was you know three energy for 120 second cooldown maybe three seconds for 90 is where we is what we like to see or i'm sorry three costs for 90 seconds is what we like to see the four for the 120 is like a fair evaluation but considering there are much more powerful abilities than this one, which a much, with a much less cost and a much shorter cooldown, it really, it really, you know, doesn't bode well for this cost evaluation. But he deals 35 damage times 10 in a straight line, so he hits 10 times and reduces the cost of allied close range attack units by one for 15 seconds. That's fine. The damage sucks. You can see it on the screen right in front of you. That damage was nothing. My G21 is level 10. And mine, mine was level 10 before the rentable. Before the rented, I had it first before the rented. And it doesn't really do a ton of damage right there. The big thing that you want from this ability is getting out your close range characters. Now, G21 shares this pool of short range or close range characters with destroyer the game labels or all the leader descriptions label them a short range or i'm sorry close range but the in-game descriptions are labeling them a short range so any unit that destroyer can buff g21 can reduce their cost so the deck i've been using down below and i can make a video about that i can make a separate video for what deck i'm using with g21 but for this video i used mega gears who is a close range fighter kamakaris who are a close range fighter and just good to have I believe Gigan 04 is in this deck, also a very good close range fighter, and Mecha Godzilla 2021 is in this deck, also a close range fighter. There are some good options, especially with the addition of Mecha Godzilla 2021, there are some good close range options, and like I said, with the Destroy Leader, and I'll say it again with G21, the more close or short range characters that get added, the better this ability will be. At the moment, that, that pool is not incredible. And especially considering Mecha Godzilla right here is just gonna get absolutely run through, right? Mecha Godzilla, that's I'm, I can go on a whole tangent, but that's a separate discussion. The leader abilities generally are only as good as the units that they affect. All right, there's a few exceptions. Eva Unit One will hit every unit, right? Uh, Kiryu can you know tank the leader, but like G89 can buff 50% damage to most meta units kong will buff 20 percent damage to most units in general right the smaller the pool of characters that a, that a, you know a leader can buff generally speaking the less viable that 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 it is right let's take bailante for example bailante buffs specifically long range characters long range is probably the most amount of characters out of any of the classifications short medium long long has the most Therefore, you can build the most robust decks with long range. To capitalize on the heat ray, you have to really take inventory of what's available, and there's not a lot. Like, what else are you choosing besides Gigan of Four? Gigan 72? The Stealth Bomber? I mean, I'll, listen, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a converted Stealth Bomber fan, but I'm not using the Stealth Bomber in ranked. 
I'm using it in fixed, right? So as far as ranked gameplay goes, I think this ability is fine. You can see on my screen right here, I use the ability and I get out Mega Gearus and uh, Godzilla 21, but immediately I'm run down by Meta Flyers, Fire Rodan, or it's before Fire Rodan, technically it's the pre-evolution, and then Mothra Leo, and then there's a guy get on the field, and G21 doesn't even target the air, right? He just, the splash damage hits the air. So, I like his leader ability. I think in the future, it might be more useful, but at the time that this video goes live on December 29th, 2022, it is not that good of a leader ability. It's decent if you want to make some pushes because there are some good units you can use to get them on the cheap. Like Kamakuras for one is gnarly. You know, Gigano 4 for three is also super, super good. G21 or MG21 for uh, for five is also very good. M Mega Gears for five or Mega Gears for four, I'm sorry, is also extremely valuable. It, what is Gigan 72? What is he? A three cost, a five cost? Him for four is also not that bad, right? So I think in the future, this ability will have its time to shine. I just think when, the, when this video goes live, it's really lacking. And it's not because the ability is terrible. The ability is okay. It's because it, I don't think it has the correct amount of units that it needs to really make this viable. Because imagine you had a deck of all close range fighters that were decent and could like hit air. You could have a very formidable push if you could get, you know, four out and one, you know, 10 char 10 full charges of energy and you get like four units out, Kamakuris and Gigan right there, Gigan 04, that's four. Then you have another six energy to use. If we get more units, I think that this could be a really potent mechanic to push. At the moment, I do not think that that's the case. And the same thing goes for Destroyer who buffs with damage to short range units. Godzilla 21 lowers their energy. I think that there's room to grow. I think it's not where it needs to be or not at its apex yet. I think I think it has some time to go before it is actually extremely usable. That being said, what do I think about him as a leader attack-wise and all of that? Uh, I mean, I, it's not particularly great. He doesn't have extremely long range. I think he would be one of the best leaders in the game if he had Ultima's range. 110% because Ultima leader range is fantastic. It's so good. If G21 had that range, it would be phenomenal because the way G21's attack as a leader works is the same exact way it works as a unit. It hits an enemy and the damage ramps up over time. So the longer he's attacking an enemy, the higher the damage he's outputting, the faster that enemy's going to die. He's extremely, he's, he's not extremely short range, but he's short range for a leader. Like he has regular normal leader range. He doesn't have the extended leader range or, or even the Ultima range, right? So... For him having normal leader range, by the time, and for him to be a four-star leader, by the time that an enemy is in your face and he can hit them with the attack, it might be too late. You can see in my video here, not in this particular instance, but in a little bit, he's a, my G21 is attacking the other units and he's dying super fast and he's a single target attacker. It's not G89 that can hit multiple units. It's not Bailante that'll hit all the units. It's not Mecha King Ghidorah. It's not, you know, Ultraman or Eva with piercing. It's one unit that just gets absolutely drilled. That's tough. Having a leader without AoE is tough because you want your leader to be able to, to defend themselves in the best way possible. And being a single target leader, I think in general, single target leaders need a little bit extra to really put them over the edge. G21's ability is cracked for the scaling damage. But odds are, like, you're not really going to be able to do as much as you can or kill more than one or two characters because it takes so long to ramp. So if he had longer range as a, as a leader and could hit a character from further away and would give him time to ramp up the damage, would maybe let him kill one unit or even maybe two units before switching targets. And speaking of switching targets, I don't know if this is intentional with this kit or a bug or a side effect or something or what, but if he's attacking someone and then another unit comes closer, he will stop targeting and then switch to the unit that has become closest and then fire at them. I don't know if that's just something weird that's happened to me. I've seen other people reporting it in my Discord. So if he's just going to stop targeting and switch to whatever's closest, that's also a problem. I guess I guess a lot of leaders do that, right? G89 will hit, attack someone, you put Mogera behind him, he might switch to the Mogera. So the fact that G21, his damage isn't static and it goes from small to large and takes time to ramp, distracting him, not great. 
and it even makes it worse because he's single target with that ramp it takes so long to kill it makes the Kamakuris or the Dorats or something even more potent to him right it just makes it so it's it's just gives you a lot more avenues to counter him as a leader I think his ability is good and I think if there was more units in the game his ability would be a lot more worth it and I think as far as leaders go it's not a very strong attack it's a 3.1 second ramp so every 3.1 seconds on he's you know getting that damage higher up but if he's the leader you don't want one unit attacking you for three seconds six seconds nine seconds to get your damage up you're trying to kill that character as fast as humanly possible so if you don't have insane defense like i did or i didn't even have insane defense i just psychic course and leo if you're not protecting him during a push, like he's going to go down. He has no way to help with the major push because he's going to be just zeroed in on one unit until it dies in like seven seconds. Not very helpful. I really like G21's design. I really think his ability has yet to have the opportunity to shine. I think we're still waiting on more units. I think he could get some long range. Look at this. He just cross maps. I think if he had longer range, maybe like Ultima's range, Ultima leader range, he would be a really, really great leader. I think his stats in terms of range and attack speed are what's holding him back. I think maybe if they shortened his attack speed, it would be fine or increased the amount that his uh, damage gets boosted, I think would be fine. I think he's a good, okay leader if you want to run G21 on your team, but you don't want him on the field. I think you could run him as your leader and have a fun time, but I, I don't think he's going to be meta breaking. I don't think he's going to be super important going forward i don't i think he's just going to be an okay leader this was another okay change by toho and uh it is what it is you know you get what you get and you don't get upset right everyone's been wanting a g21 leader for over a year now well we got him here you go so i hope you guys enjoy him i certainly don't but i also think that maybe in a year from now that opinion might change let me know what you guys think about him down below. Have you unlocked him if you didn't unlock him before he went away the first time? Are you using him as a leader? You let me know how you guys like him, Mechagodzilla. I got him today. I'm liking him, so my thoughts on that will be in a later video. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.